Hi scholars, my name is Mrs. Zemfir from Northern Oaks Athenaeum. Today's lesson is Paul Clay's Cats. The supplies that you need are paper, pencil, black marker, crayons, and other coloring supplies. Look at this cat. Beyond to being very cute, what do you notice about this cat? What shapes do you see? An artist named Paul Clay from Switzerland liked to paint cats and birds, among other things. He was an abstract artist, meaning much of his art was inspired by bold shades, line, and colors. I have some example of his artwork. How would you describe his art? You can comment below to tell me. I would describe his paintings as abstract, very geometrical. We are going to try to draw and color a cat today that looks like Mr. Clay's painting called Cat and Bird. Look at this picture and study the shapes and colors in this painting. Do you see the bird? How do cats and birds usually feel about each other? It is interesting that Mr. Clay chose to combine these two into one picture, isn't it? Now I am going to show you how you can draw this image for yourself and then you can add color using crayons or paints or markers or whatever you have at home. First step, draw a border around the paper. I fold the paper to have light guidelines like this one. See? So now you know where is the center. Next, you draw a large W type shape for cat's head. Does it look like a W type shape? Next step, draw the cat's eyes and snout. Eyes, snout. Next, draw mouth, neck, and whiskers. This is the mouth and the neck. Also, you can make this draw a heart shape nose on the snout. Do you see? It looks like a heart. Next step, very easy. You draw the bird on the cat's head and add a moon or a sun above the bird. Use your choice of mediums to finish your project. And now this is my cat and bird picture. Please. Email me a picture of your cat and bird when you are done and I will share it with your friends on our Facebook page. If you like the work of Paul Clay, you can try to copy some of other paintings we looked at today or create your own in the same style using bold colors, lines and lots of shapes. I can wait to see what you can do. Thank you for spending time with me today. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.